Okay, so what you want to do? Let's go to this folder. Uh, program files, Steam user data, and then this number is your uh, Steam ID. So I have two accounts. This one's the Bowser one. This one's Viridian City. So you go to this one. This is all your config stuff. Before you do this, right, save a backup. This one I had saved a while ago on this date, whatever. And when I swap back to this one, it felt good. No placebo, like the game actually felt responsive, like normal. Pretty much before you do anything, save a backup of your config. So like you can just copy and paste this on your desktop or make a folder called config and then put the 730. 730 is the only folder you really need to copy over. You might have like 50 folders there, but it's just random shit. 760 is your screenshots if you want to save screenshots, but yeah. 730, just copy the whole thing, whatever, copy and paste it into a folder. And then what you want to do, I have like 50 things. Yeah, yeah. so that means you haven't reset in ages. Check the dates on some of them, it's really old. But just copy the whole thing just in case, and then delete it. And then if you want to make life easier before you delete it, you can go in game, take a photo of your video settings or just like the basic settings you can, you can swap. And also you can go to aimbots and just check your FPS before you do anything so you can compare back and forth. But you go delete all the shit, launch your game, and then your config should be reset and that's when you can rearrange all the stuff. How do you know which one's my Steam? You can go online and search up Steam ID checker. Okay, yeah, so before resetting your config, delete whatever shit you have here. And if you do have a backup like I did in the past, I had my 730 here, which had all these, whatever, all these things. And I just copy and pasted my old one into the actual file and I launched my game again. And so it reset with this saved file. But if you want to go from just top to bottom or bottom to top, just start off on a fresh config, change your video settings, see how it goes, mate. It's smart to do a FPS test before. So just go and aim bots and check your frames. And then when you do reset your config, just change your video settings to what you had before and then see your frames again. I have like 1,000 folders in that thing you're in. Yeah, bro, clean that shit up. But also keep it back up just in case. Um, but yeah, this is like a previous folder I had, Micro. Like this, this many folders. And it should be all CS related. And then 760, like these are your screenshots. How big is your folder in storage? 15 gigabytes. That ain't right, bucko. Like my current folder, 5.6 megabytes. Because I just reset it recently. I legit deleted everything and just copy and pasted 730. So many times in the past, my game just like, there's just some bullshit that happens to it. And then I revert back to like an old config and it fixes it. Like I remember um, on my old account, like I was playing on Bowser going back and forth. Bowser to Viridian City and it's just a completely different feeling. Then I used the config on Bowser on Viridian City and it just fixed it. But it, it's good to have that for your troubleshooting. I had micro stutters today. I think I'm getting like a tiny bit of micro stutters. New config, boom, boom. It's like a step with the whole troubleshooting process. You have your user data folder, like you have numbers here, right? In your user data. Uh, pick your Steam ID. The other stuff doesn't matter for the account you're focused on. And you wanna just keep it back up, so copy and paste everything just in case into a folder and just delete everything. The important folders, 730 and 760. 760 is your like screenshot folders. So if you have like screenshots from fucking, I don't know, like your configs like a year old or something, so make sure you save that one. But at 730 is all your configs. So when you reset your, like when you delete everything and you launch your game, files will be remade automatically. And your 730 is now like all the default set, uh, settings. 500 megabytes, yeah, so you haven't done this in ages. I swear this feels like when you do a new account, the mouse feels way smoother. Yes, positives. Yeah, because like over time, your config file just gets fucking crazy. If it was brand new, love to hear it. Bro, your folder was 15 gigabytes. So yeah, delete it. And then for like the whole troubleshooting process, I think the best thing to do is like redo your video settings. Test your FPS and aimbots. And if it doesn't really feel the same, then you can just copy and paste your 730 from your backup. Yeah, your binds get reset, so that's why, like, that's why I have, um, it's not the best way to do it. Like, I have a config notepad, and it's just got, my, like, settings I should copy and paste, like, my binds, right? Um, but you, you usually have, like, an auto-exec, you can just execute this really easily. 
and your auto exec should be fine because it's in your CSGO folder. The first time I figured out that this was a thing to troubleshoot was when I swapped over to my old account and I was getting like plus 200 frames compared to my main. Like I just didn't understand why. And then when I copy and pasted my old account's config to my main, it fixed my frames on, on my main. And like whenever I troubleshoot my shit now, like if things don't feel right, it's just part of the whole process.